Welcome to another plan with me. This month I was running a little bit short on time, so this is going to be an extremely quick plan with me for August. Finding the center line in my black out journal from Archer and Olive, I tear out two pages that I'm going to use as part of my spread for August. Giving it a quick trim and some glue, I stick it in. I'm using my circle tool to create a circle so that I can fill it in with a sunset. I thought I'd keep it really simple and use my jelly rolls from Secura to be able to make a beautiful sunset feel. On the top, I'm using purples and pinks, and down the bottom, I'm going to make some really pretty waves. This time I'm going to use my black pages to make my calendar spread for the month. I'm using my ink by Genji stencil and my Jaden's apple ruler to be able to make up this adorable calendar. You can see the pencil marks on the black quite easily so don't fret. And just like that, it's ready for cutting up and sticking into our journal. I wanted to add some foliage around the edges before I stuck them in. So I used some of my Kelly Create stamps to stamp a couple of flowers around the edge to give it a little bit more dynamic. Instagram tracker. I used this Instagram tracker back in my old STM almost two years ago. I looked back on the stats and I had a little giggle. I made a ladder of all different colors going down the center of the page, kind of like a flag pole, and each time I progress through the month, I'm going to add what those statistics are. On the left hand side, I'm adding my goals for personal and work for the month. Bippity boppity boop and on to a really simple spread. I needed something that would capture my priorities and notes in one simple spread so I thought I'd keep it really really easy for this particular week. Spread, I was inspired by Bonnie's beautiful floral pictures that she has on her Archer and Olive Instagram page. If you haven't checked it out, you should go have a look absolutely. So here I'm using the Sakura Jelly Rolls to write on the black paper. They shine up so well. I'm using a really simple spread because I want the feature of the, strip, the spread to be the florals that I doodle on the top. So starting with the left hand side, I doodle all the way through to the other end in color order. me productivity and creativity are synonymous so for this really really simple spread I wanted something that looked really cute but was also extremely productive because I know for that week in August I'm gonna be very busy As 
As always, thank you for watching and please hit the subscribe button. Follow us on The Art of Bujo and My Inner Creative for more fun videos. Thank you.